at the age of 10 years, Pius Passari experienced hives and then went to the doctor to be examined and diagnosed with an allergy. Then Pius Passari was given medicine. After many years, it turned out that Pius Passari was declared to have progeria syndrome. Obviously, when she was a teenager. Due to this progeria syndrome, Pius Passari was once a victim of bullying because she looked older than her age. She has difficulty getting a job because in general, most of the job criteria in Indonesia are to have an attractive appearance. So she decided to go abroad to find a job. What is progeria syndrome? Progeria, also known as Hutchinson-Gilford syndrome, is a fairly rare, progressive genetic disorder. This condition causes children to experience rapid and unnatural aging from the age of two years of life. Children with this syndrome will usually grow up like other children in their first year of life, especially for children who get breast, milk, and have adequate nutritional needs. Progeria is a genetic mutation. The LMNA gene has the mutation. This gene generates a protein that aids in preserving the structural integrity of the cell's nucleus. A cell's structure is fragile if its nucleus lacks strength. This causes accelerated aging. Progeria impacts genes, although researchers don't believe it is inherited. The likelihood of having another child with progeria is not increased for parents whose first child has the disease. The progeria syndrome is uncommon. The Progeria Research Foundation estimates that 1 in 20 million persons are affected. Around 350 to 400 children, worldwide, are thought to be affected by the syndrome at any given moment. Puspa has been suffering from progeria syndrome for 18 years or is experiencing rapid premature aging. All this time, Puspa has been trying to make peace with life. She doesn't want to deal with other people's negative comments about her. Puspa Sari continues to be active on the social network TikTok. She often uploads various content, one of which tells about premature aging syndrome. Puspa admitted that he wanted to encourage many people who were also experiencing a similar situation to her.